Thank you for joining us today on the demonstration of Microsoft Business Central. Today, we are going to take a quick overview of some of the key features that Business Central can offer. Right now, we are logged into the welcome screen or to the home page of Business Central. Right away, we have integration using AI with the Cortana Intelligence, which is giving you key information into your data. As an example, what was the largest sales invoice that was posted? What was our best selling item? Who bought the item? And what our biggest sales order was? To the right, I have quick action items. So as a business manager, because that is the role that I am using, I'm able to do both the sales, purchases, and as well, financial information. So quick action items would be things like orders, quotes, purchase orders, and payments. Scrolling down, I have activities, giving us KPIs into our data, and giving us color graphics to also indicate information. Let's take a look at setting up some of these cues. Here's a list of the out-of-the-box cues. As you can see, you can change these to be different thresholds, giving them different color based on those thresholds. We also have tiles to navigate to transactions, like quotes, orders, and to initiate transactions. Tiles are very important when it comes to mobility. Business Central is compatible on a tablet and smartphone as well, so tiles are very common when it comes to mobility. Further down, we have insights into our data. Again, as the business manager, I'm seeing information about customers and hovering over that data will tell me the financial information. I can also change my chart, looking at different values. This is the aged inventory report sales trends, and so on. And I can change the period, day, week, and so on. I have access to my favorite accounts, so as my user, I set these favorite accounts up. It gives us quick access into the balance and a hyperlink to access those accounts. My trial balance in this current period. And it has BI integration as well. So within Power BI, you can pin BI reports that you would like to display either on your home page or within your master records, which I will show you momentarily. Our report inbox are for scheduled reports. Most of the business central reports can be scheduled out of the box. Those reports will also include financial reports or inventory valuation. Business Central does not have your common modules as other ERPs are commonly using. Instead, we have areas, finance, cash management, sales, and so on. As an example, within sales, we're able to look up master records like customers and items, but we can also do transactions around sales, quotes, orders, invoices, returns, and so on. To navigate further, in Business Central, we use the powerful search. Tell me what you want to do. Let's type in customers as an example. Using the keyword customers, it will find anything in the data that pertains to customers. Showing a full list of anything that we can do within customers and tasks or reports or documentation to help us learn how to set up a customer as an example. Let's navigate to customers. Here we're displaying customers in the small, small tile view. I can change my view to be a list, removing the images or tall tiles, making the image larger as well as the financial data. To the right, I have Power BI integration and quick tiles about all of my customers. As well, the statistics is a balance that's inclusive of all these customers. 
Let's navigate into tray research. When I navigate into tray research, the icons on the right hand side are now specifically for tray research. So using these tiles, I can navigate and find a quote, an order, posted invoices, and so on. I can also look up the customer statistics and navigate within each one of these hyperlinks. I can also store documents. Here it shows me I have three documents. Here's an example of each document using three different file types text file, an Excel file, and a PDF file. To add an additional file, click on the link and choose where you would like to find that file from. Go ahead and pick the file. It automatically knows that it's a PDF. If I now want to open that file, click on the hyperlink and it opens at the bottom of your screen. From here, I can open up that attachment and this is what the out-of-the-box invoice looks like in Business Central. Let's go ahead and look at the powerful Outlook integration. You'll notice here that I've used my own personal email address, jholman at burdettservices.com, as the customer contact. You can also have more than one contact on a customer card but this is the main contact. Navigating to our Outlook, I've received an email from Jennifer Holman asking for the Berlin guest chair. I've already gone ahead and accessed my Quick Insights here. Within Quick Insights, it's giving me similar information about the customer that I saw within the customer card in Business Central. From here, I can do different transactions, look up different information, or I can select new, quote, invoice, order, and so on. Let's go ahead and say a new quote since Jennifer has asked us for the Berlin chair. Based on the keyword search, it has found the similar name within my Business Central inventory. It suggests an item. This is the correct item. I'm going to say one and hit OK. It's created the quote for me, inserted the quantity, the price, everything to do with the customer. The quote is now ready to be sent. Go ahead and scroll to the bottom here and click send by email. I can also send by email within Business Central. Here's an example of that email, sending out the email template and you can decide what you want your email template to look like and say, but it's also gone ahead and attached the sales quote. Let's open that up. Here's an example of the out of the box sales quote. and we can send that email. That quote has now been generated. Let's go ahead and navigate back to the customer card. Within the customer card, I can now see that I have two ongoing sales quotes. Here's the quote we just generated. Let's make that an order. to open this? Yes. Because I'm ready to go ahead and ship my invoice. When posting in Business Central, we can choose to ship, to invoice, or to ship an invoice. When we choose to just ship, it means that we're just creating the shipment and the pick list to collect those items. When we've requested the invoice is when the invoice gets sent to the customer. Let's go ahead and say that we are shipping and invoicing in this demonstration. 
Let's take a look at this posted invoice. We can see this posted invoice. Let's go ahead and navigate to the GL entries that made up this invoice. Here's a listing of the GL entry that made up that invoice. Our revenue accounts, our AR accounts, tax accounts, and so on. It's very easy for me to access this information within either my customer card, within the invoice, and so on. I do not need to be in General Ledger to find this transaction. Let's take a quick look at items. Here's an example of the out-of-the-box inventory Here's a listing of the items that we have in inventory. Right now we're looking in small tiles. The images are quite nice when it comes to inventory and often used when you're doing any type of web integration. Business Central has a Shopify integration that is often used. They also have additional extensions based on different platforms that you may be working with. Shopify is the most common. Let's take a look at this Berlin guest chair. When navigating into this information, we're able to see the image, again, any attachments, and any attributes that pertain to this item. Here's where we would identify colors, sizes, measurements, lengths, and so on. Business Central can have special pricing and different pricing based on sales and based on inventory. We can also have replenishment. We can have multiple vendors and choose one that's preferred, but here's an example of just mapping one vendor to this item. We can set up special prices on an item. Prices, discounts, or just look at an overview. Let's set special prices. Here we can identify if the special price is for one customer, a group of customers, all customers, or a campaign. It already identifies that it's for this item. You can specify a minimum quantity and specify the new price and a start and end date. You can also do the same thing when it comes to discounts. Again, same sales type, but now the discount line is filled in. This is for item and customer mapping. Customers may get a special price regardless of an item. If that's the case, you would set that up on the customer's special pricing. Thank you for taking the time to spend with us to do a quick overview on Business Central. I hope you found this time useful.